Now, of course, not all games feature fighting governors. Some are wrestling games. Which feature former governors fighting, like Jesse the Body Ventura. Now, here's a review of what could be the best wrestling game for the GameCube. WWE Day of Reckoning. But that's really not saying much, is it? Nope. Are you ready to bring the pain? Are you ready for a bunch of greased up dudes slamming each other on the mat? Not so much? Well, how about these ladies tearing each other's clothes off? Yeah, I thought so. WWE Day of Reckoning for the GameCube, larger than life wrestlers are ready for every kind of SmackDown you can think of. One on one or tag team, there's hell in a cell cage matches, no holds barred ladder matches, and yes, Girl on girl bra and panty matches. I ain't the lady to mess with. So classy. Since WrestleMania 19, the biggest addition is a new Build Your Own Superstar campaign, which allows you to take your wrestler up through the ranks all the way to pay per view championship matches. Character creation is deep, allowing you to specify everything from how big an afro you want, to the color of your wrestling mask, to your music, camera angles, and pyrotechnics when you enter the ring. As you advance, you can unlock old school faves like Rowdy Roddy Piper, an old school big man, Andre the Frickin' Giant. The real goal, though, is to get your own posse. The wrestler roster also includes 40 quote unquote real life pros like Triple H and Undertaker, Stacey Keebra, and Victoria. They're flashier, okay, greasier, more muscle bound, and more realistic than ever before, with bigger hits and a couple licensed songs. Even the sound is more soundy. Visually, you'll find little to complain about, except maybe for the pixely crowd. Always a soft fontanelle on the baby's head in these kind of games. Gameplay can be confusing. Each button has at least two functions, depending on if you tap, hold, or repeatedly mash it, and which way your wrestler is looking. In tag team with an AI partner, you may ask yourself, where's the go get him button? Go get him! The key to big wins is mastering countering, a combination of timing and guesswork. If you can turn an opponent's attack against him, you can put the bang down, flip it, and reverse it. And if you don't like what the ref is doing, you can show him a thing or two, too. I mean, also, as well. Things move in slow motion a lot. While this does allow for some intricate countering and counter-countering, and some super flashy super flex slams, it can feel, well, slow. A single match can last a half an hour. And as you get beat up, you'll find that you end up laying on the ground a lot. This is so frustrating, you'll want to wrestle your GameCube. Don't do it. Despite all this, Day of Reckoning is a solid, challenging game. Great characters and animation, and a fun story mode. And of course, lots of fire. We give it a four out of five. Normally, I think the bra and panties match is really stupid, but later in the show, we have a game where real girls take their tops off, mm. probably because they're drunk. So instead, I salute Day of Reckoning for at least keeping the bras on. Way to be only a little sleazy.